In this short video, we'll take a look at how CB Protection, Carbon Black's unbreakable application control platform for servers and critical systems, stops WannaCry. To begin, let's take a look at how WannaCry actually infects a server. In this example, we have a 2012 Windows Server running a vulnerable SMB service. WannaCry made headlines in May of 2017 by infecting hundreds of thousands of endpoints in just a few days. It did this through an aggressive worm module that targeted a vulnerable SMB version 1 service. When successful, WannaCry searches for over 150 different file types and begins encrypting them immediately. After encrypting your machine, it pops up a traditional ransom screen with access to the payment module and ways to decrypt your files. With CB protection running on this server, WannaCry is unable to execute. This is due to CB protection's unique default deny approach to application whitelisting. As you can see, CB protection only allows pre-approved applications to run and blocks every other file from running. This means that even if a variant of WannaCry were able to escalate its privileges on the machine, it would still not be able to run the ransomware module successfully. As you can see in the CB Protection console, we can understand exactly what happened to this server. Even though the attack was unsuccessful, we can look at what server was involved and which processes were run as a result of the attack. To learn about how CB Protection can protect your servers and critical systems, please click here.